Okay, so we worked hard to set up our federal tax calculator, this table here for the federal income taxes for the year 2021. And this table has the ability, if you plug in a gross income and give it a standard deduction, it can tell you the taxable income. It can tell you how much you're paying in tax is for each marginal rate. It can also tell you if you put in tax credits, uh, that'll subtract it from your taxes paid. And then overall, it'll give you your total taxes paid. It'll also give you your effective tax rate, which is the taxes you pay divided by your taxable income as a percent. So let's just make sure your table works. Let's do a couple of quick checks. First of all, plug in a lower number like 50,000. 50,000. Make sure you get 429500. Zero, zero. Okay, if you get that, great. If not, pause it, take a look at my table, and think about what might be going wrong. Next, let's try 75,000. Make sure we get 9487.5 and an effective tax rate of 15.19. And now let's try a higher one. And again, if you're not getting that, pause the video or let me know and we can work on it together. Try a million. One, two, three, one, two, three, enter. So here we have all the marginal tax rates with taxes paid, 329428.75, and the effective tax rate of 33.36. Pause the video and make sure that it matches. If not, try to figure out what's going on or let me know. Okay, so we've done a couple of checks and it's working. Now, let's do two last things for our checks before we go to the next part of our project. Make sure your total taxes paid has the right formula in it. Even if you're getting the right number, you don't want to forget to include minus F15. That's subtracting your tax credits. The idea is if I type in, let's say, you get a $100,000 tax credit, your taxes go directly down by $100,000. You see how that number changed here. It's 229 now instead of 329. It subtracts it directly. So in order to calculate that, your formula for uh, cell F16 should say sum of F7 through F13 minus F15. And make sure it does that. And make sure the effective tax rate is F16 divided by F4, which is your total taxes, divided by your taxable income. With those checks in place, you're ready to move on.